Well, if you want to spot a trend, all you need to do is look at where the money is going. For General Motors, $2.3 billion going to a new battery plant here in the United States. That's not going to be built here in Metro Detroit. It's in Spring Hill, Tennessee. Business editor Rob Maloney shows us what it means not just for the company, but for the industry as a whole. Let there be no doubt, with the global regulations going the way they are, the entirety of the auto industry is now going to EVs and autonomous vehicles as well. And so General Motors putting this kind of money into it shows that it wants to get out in front as quickly as possible. With two plant announcements in as many weeks, GM CEO Mary Barra makes it clear it's a new day for a new way of driving. They demonstrate that we're committed to changing the world right now. We are taking bold steps necessary to accelerate toward an all-electric future and to support our vision of zero crashes, zero emission, and zero congestion. The Spring Hill, Tennessee plant, once destined for mothballs, will play a very important future role and will look dramatically different. This state-of-the-art plant will create 1,300 new jobs. Construction will begin immediately with the goal of coming online in late 2023. Still, GM will be building batteries with LG Chem of Korea, a separate company not unionized, says Guidehouse Insights analyst Sam Abel Samad. They're going to be shutting down um, a lot of their existing engine plants, transmission plants, other component plants that supply those parts. There's going to be a lot of UAW jobs lost at those plants, and, and this is not exclusive to GM. So the United Auto Workers responded in a statement today, quote, These are important jobs, and we continue to work with General Motors on the transition to electric vehicles. We believe that GM has a moral obligation to work with the UAW and the joint venture partner to make sure these are good-paying union jobs like those of their brothers and sisters who make combustible engines, end quote. Okay, so you start building batteries, but you need cars to put them in. General Motors redesigning a whole bunch of them, and the car that's going to get the batteries from this plant in Spring Hill is the Cadillac Lyric, which they're going to show us next week. In Detroit, Rod Maloney, Local 4. All right, Rod, there was a time when automakers said making batteries wasn't a core competency slowing progress, but many are partnering with companies who know the technology, which allows the car makers to control their supplies and their innovations, too.